we got a nice sunny day. I thought I'd take advantage of this uh, opportunity to do some more testing. Pushing 500 watts here today. It's pretty good. You can look down the panels here. 95. Very nice. So what I thought I'd do is uh, basically put these three panels, the three big ones, which are pushing uh, 95 watts a piece. Try to put them all on the same grid tie inverter. And we were able to show the other day that we could get in the mid 200s. So I'm going to try to connect them on there, give it some time, see if it ever does come up, and see how much we can actually get from a, a couple, two or three identical panels in parallel to uh, see how much we can really get out of these grid ties because. We know on the battery bank that they do provide uh, 250 watts out, but uh, they seem to have trouble doing it with uh, multiple solar panels in parallel. So let me connect that up. Okay, so what I did is I took the wires off of uh, this first 135, the east one, and I attached it to my one, my second one here. So I got two panels on here. And uh, this is what we're getting for the output. Let me do a third panel now. Okay, <clears throat> so now on this grid tie inverter, I've got the uh, positive from the prior one, the positive on the, on the other one. The ground is common for all of them. And uh, so I just have that one wire there. He's doing okay, he's not getting warm yet. So we got three of them. And uh, let's see how much we get for our output here. We're doing better than uh, before. Not sure the way I did it the other day, uh, why I was having trouble. Well, now we're up to 220 with three of these, basically 90 watt uh, panels on there. Now if I, uh, actually if I unplug, I'll probably take two of these off We'll see just what one 90 watt panel is doing. So they're doing, so one of them is doing 85, feed in the next one. Very quickly got right up there, didn't it? And I'll put a third one on there. So, oh. looks like they're doing pretty good now. Let me take some voltage and current reading. Okay, got everything connected up. We're still at the 220 output. I've got my uh, voltmeter tied in. You can see the voltage is it's holding really seven, steady at that 17.8. Which actually about 17 and a half is the proper MPVT level on a lot of these 12 volt panels. Then I have the uh, <coughs> the current meter running around one of the leads, basically to the ground side, which you know current goes in a loop. So that so we're getting 17.4 uh, amps through with uh, three panels. So while I got it there, I'm going to take one of the panels off. See what happens to our current drops down. 14.4. Voltage changed to 16.1, but it's pretty steady. Let me take the next one down. This is down just now, down to one panel. Actually, let me go back. I want to get the power off that last one. So 16.5. We're doing 1.74. Down to one panel here. So you can see under one panel the voltage drops down to 13.5. It's starting to work its way up a little bit more. We'll look at the current here. About 8 amps. Let's see if it uh, works its way up.
Now it looks like it's holding pretty steady. 14. And we're at our 87 or so watts. So anyway, here's some few more data points. The fan started running on that grid tie at when I just when I started the second panel going, and now the fan has shut off. So it'll probably uh, now maybe down to just because of the or one panel. Let me try put another panel on. I think it actually senses the microprocessor in there senses the current flow, and that enables the fan to start as opposed to the. Uh, uh, some thermocouple in there because I've never been able to see any kind of temperature sensor part on the board. But <clears throat> yeah, with all three panels, we're uh, we're holding right at that 17.8. Okay, there goes, there goes the fan now. Well, I think this is pretty good news. I guess what we did the other day was uh, a little mis misleading. All right. Talk to you later.